So that's what I'm talking about is you're here without an expectation. You're hanging out in here right now. And then there is a sensation of excitement that something may happen. Yeah. Yeah. Does it make you feel young? <laughs> yes, very much, actually. Yeah. Isn't it exciting? Yeah. Right. So this is what I'm talking about is when you learn to be empty and be here. The, these are words when I'm saying vastness or presence. They're words. And then when I say vastness, the mind goes into maybe an infinite field. Or when I say presence, the mind may go into like big kahuna is sitting here, you know. But what I'm referring to is there's an unknowing thing. You don't know what's going to happen. You're here. And there's this excitement of whatever next moment is going to present. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's, not, it's like there's no expectations. No. No. So what happens is you, it's a system that, yeah, we, I'm working with you. I'm going to work with you. Of course, it takes a little bit of time. So you don't need to beat yourself up over it. It takes time to die to a system, a way of thinking. It's a complete structure. You know, it's kind of like it's a economy. It's like a civilization. It's like something of the old, which is dying which is happening right now, also in the other world. Mm -hmm. The other world is a reflection of what's happening within ourselves. So it's the death of the man that is giving birth to Superman. And what is Superman? Is that the Superman has the quality of presence of being here and not having an idea of here. So it's always new. It's always refreshes itself. It always reveals itself. And what reveals itself may not be toward your liking. Maybe something happens you don't like. Maybe something happens you like. We're diving into this paradigm from the old ways, not without learning to control. We're unlearning control because we don't want that particular training any longer. that has to die and it's very apparent because there's nothing in the new paradigm that you can control no. anything you're trying to do and manipulate it falls apart examine it for yourself every single day in the news they come come with a new thing and you kind of, in your mind, you, you thought you figured it out. Okay, now I'm going to do this. I'll give this shot. And I'll just wear this mask here and there. And, you know, somehow I'm going to control this and doing that. And then it gets shut down. And then you're trying to redo things and re-maneuver and it gets shut down. It's the death 
of the mind who wanted to control, to give birth to the Superman whose existence is based on not knowing. <laughs> yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you for, thank thanks for, you. for uh, yeah, exactly. And it's very scary. Of course it's scary. Of course, it's frightening. To the mind, not to the master, not to the one who is learned to incorporate and being born into a new paradigm of not knowing, that becomes your constitution. of living life from the place of not knowing. And you incorporate that, that becomes the very basis. You're building a brand new construction based on not knowing. And then only then you will experience the birth because it's a brand new life coming to earth to this dimension, whatever this dimension is, it doesn't know, it has no idea. Everything is fresh. But what happens is that things that mind cannot understand because the mind wants to understand and calculate things and subtract things, but now you're entering the realm of no mind. The realm of no mind. means entering into the unknown. Every single Sufi, all the mystics throughout the history, all of them, every single mystic from any tribe they came, they dove into the unknown. And when I say this path, it requires paying attention, paying attention, and in paying attention to this, you have to let go and sacrifice of what you used to think your idea of who you are, that's scary, it's frightening, frightening. But there's no way if you want to be a mystic and you wanna dive into the unknown and become one with the mystery and free yourself from a dying world a world which is crum crumbling and you want to free yourself from it so you're not crumbling with it, you have to give something up. <laughs> 